Lagos TV Entertainment.
again. My name is Ola Tujoye Bokola, the ED Operations of Zillas Group International. Wow, I'm so excited to be here today to give my love and support to the amazing young lady who has just broken the world Guinness record for the longest cooking time by an individual. It's so nice to be here. I'm happy. I'm excited to be here today. Wow, it really means a lot to Hilda herself and to so many Nigerians, especially the women. It means that if anything you want to do, if you can put your heart to it, you can definitely achieve anything you want to achieve. Linda has just broken the limit. She has just broken the barrier. Okay, Hilda. We are taking that again, if fair. <laughs> what do you think this means to for Hilda and the rest of Nigerians? Wow, it really means a lot to Hilda. Sorry, let's take it again. Please tell us, what do you think this means to Hilda and the rest of Nigerians? It really means a lot to Hilda, to Nigerians, and especially we as women. Because it is not... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Okay, so let's, let's run it from today, ma. Good afternoon. Please introduce yourself, ma. My name is Olat Joye Bukola. I'm the ED Operations of Zillas Group International. And I'm so excited to be here today to show my love and support for Hilda, who has just broken the Guinness World Record for the longest cooking time by an individual. I'm so excited. I'm happy to be here. The show of love is really, really massive. What do you think this means for Hilda and other Nigerians? Wow. It really, really means a lot to Hilda, to Nigerians, and even to us as female, as a woman. Because cooking for four days non-stop, marathon, is not easy. Because, you know, as, as a woman, cooking in the house for just a family, we know what it takes. Not to talk of cooking for four days, non-stop, marathon, in fact. She, I, I, give it, I give it to her. She has done so marvelously well. And do you think this would attract so much? What do you think it would attract to her at the end of the day? Wow. I think after this Guinness World Record for Hilda, she will not remain the same again. Because she has really inspired lot, a lot of people, especially women, like I mentioned earlier, and from the company I'm also representing, Zillow's Group International, we have not just come here to support her by mouth, but we have decided to give her land from one of our finest and new, newest estates called Harrison Estate in Ibejuleki, Azus. All right, so I'm excited to be here, and I believe Hilda has inspired so much people around. So as a woman, do not take barrier as something you cannot break. Hilda has just broken the barrier. She has broken the, the limit. She has done it. You can also do it. Keep on the good work. The Lord will strengthen you. You are blessed. Thank you so much. Orezi is out here and he don't they do the do shocky. You savvy, it, savvy. I know the energy is hundred right now. I mean, our girl has done it. How do you feel? Um, she's done something very amazing. I mean, all of um, her accomplishments right now is not a joke. It's seven hours, not a joke. And now she's trying to cap it up with like another like ten hours. And so the next person want to try to break the record, go. We will sweat that. But what do you think this move means to we, the young people of Nigeria, Nigerians generally? <coughs> Excuse me. What it means is there's nothing impossible if you put your mind to it. You can literally achieve anything that you want. So for the average Nigerian youth, this whole situation gives us the nerve, the desire, and the strength to want to achieve anything. Anything that you think you can do or anything you think you can do, you can actually do it. Let's put your mind to it, because I'm sure she didn't know it was going to be this, you understand. It's a no joke, standing. As I did, I know she said, I even stand one hour, so you don't understand. So it's not a joke. So she has done absolutely great, and we are so proud of her. So now, what record are you trying to break as a resident? 
work that I'm trying to break. Um, first, I'm trying to be the highest selling Nigerian African artist. So that's a lot of work. That's it. That's, that's a lot of work. And it's very possible. Very possible. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say. And they sell amazing foods. So we went through a menu and we picked 35 items. 35 items. So we started with those 35 items after a series of editing here and there. And then we decided that, okay, these were the meals that we believed would highlight our skills, highlight um, our, our prowess as a chef, and also promote Nigeria. And so what we basically did was create a timetable around those 35 items and we spread it across all the days. The item that we believe was good for breakfast, the item that we believe would be appropriate for lunch or dinner. And, um, well, we, I wouldn't say it was to the T, because there were times where she was tired and weak, 
and the only thing she could do at that point was probably stir um, a sauce. And so um, it was, it was um, us paying close attention to what she needed at every point in time. Um, it's very important to also mention that we had a 25-man team of chefs, kitchen assistants, cleaners from three different groups. Rent a chef, my food by Hilda, and Kappa. So these three groups provided the team that um, the great Hilda Bassi used to achieve this um, record. Amazing, I will say. I've seen a lot of people say, you know, what's going on with the challenges you encounter with all of this together? And please add that together to what kept her going. Okay, excellent. Um, I must say that the, the, I think this is common across any event, any project, funds really, because you would think that um, coming to do this, that the whole Nigeria will come on board easily. Apparently not. People needed a lot of convincing, but those of us that stayed with her understood that this is someone that received a vision directly from God to put Nigeria on the map. And so every single thing that she said to us, every single thing that she did in the meetings and all the planning was very strategic, was very, very intentional. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, um, what's, what's it called? It wasn't playing with words. It was straight from the heart and she knew what she wanted and it was very easy to come on board. Um, so yes, that would, that for me would be one of the challenges. So what kept her going? Okay, excellent. What kept her going? I will, I, I, like, I will use the same answer that I gave before to answer this. The vision placed in her heart. Yes, the support system, I must mention, has been very excellent. From the team, everyone has left their life. I'm taking um, my own leave from my company for the first time in four years to be here. A lot of people have, have left their families, their children to be here. So the support system from the planning team has been exceptional. But the support system from Nigerians, oh my God, from the very first day, some people have been here since the first day, sleeping on the grass, going home, coming back. Many people have, have invited their friends from like two days ago. The, 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 the event center was at full capacity. We couldn't take people in anymore. So it's just been so overwhelming to see that Nigerians truly will always support Nigerians. Well, I might not be able to answer that question because I know that there is a whole lineup with the team. Um, and I will just say, stay tuned. If you want to be a part, you know how to reach her. And I think that every Nigerian should be a part because she has put us on the map in the culinary industry. Bad Moss. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bad Moss TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bad.